In less than 10 minutes, I will show you the easiest way to build an AI WhatsApp agent that responds within seconds, 24 seven. This is perfect for those who aren't tech savvy like me, as it's completely no code and very simple to set up. AI is estimated to replace 300 million jobs in just the next few years alone. That's roughly one fifth of the global workforce. So make sure you do not get left behind on this crazy opportunity. And without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. So in the next 10 minutes, I'm going to show you how to build the best 24 seven AI WhatsApp agent. And it's going to blow your mind because of how simple it is. So let me give you a demo. First and foremost, I'm going to start screen recording on my phone so you can hopefully see what I'm seeing. And I'm just going to write a simple message saying hello. And let's give it a second to load. Um, you can see that it responded back immediately saying, how can I assist you with your massage booking today? So in this case, this is a, um, a 24 seven AI ap appointment booking, um, agent for a massage business. Hypothetically, you could make this for any business or yourself, but let's, uh, type back saying I'd like to book a massage. Let's type it in. Let's see what it says back. So it says what type of massage? Let's go for a deep tissue massage. And what the goal is, it should try and collect details. So, um, when would you like to schedule it? So it's asking for a date and time. So let's go for like Sunday. Let's go for 8 PM. And yeah, hopefully, yeah, continue. So 60 minutes. And then it should just ask for my email. And that is enough for it to collect all the information it needs to be able to send the actual invite and go, go on from there. So. I've sent the email and it should just confirm. As you can see, it has sent a professional confirmation. So that is exactly how it works, but this could be a customer support um, booking bot. So it doesn't have to be, yeah, like this one. Um, it could be for customer support. It could be for FAQs. It could be for anything, to be honest. But let me jump into how you build this in less than 10 minutes because it's actually really simple and there's only like three parts to it. So let's get straight into it. The first thing you're going to do is head over to na10.com. So also na10.io It's a completely free workflow automation builder where you can just build automations and AI solutions pretty easily. And it's free, which is why I recommend it. So first of all, you're just going to click get started. As I said, I'm going to be building this live in less than 10 minutes and you need to follow me and ideally do this as I'm building it. So the first node and a node is just like a module basically within a workflow. Hopefully that makes sense. You just need to click on this plus button. All you're going to do is search for WhatsApp and you'll be able to see that there's this option called WhatsApp business cloud. You're going to click on it. And the first one is going to be on message. So what this means is whenever we receive a message, no matter what it's going to be, it's going to be able to start this automation 24 seven without us being involved, obviously. So you can see that all you actually need to do is connect your credential. Now, this is by far the hardest part of the entire video. You just need to follow me and do it as I'm doing it. So what you need to do is essentially you kind of have to create a Facebook business page and kind of develop an app, but it only takes like a few minutes. You just need to follow me with this. Um, so what you're going to do is click on this pencil button and you can see that we need a client ID and a client secret key. Now, how it works is Meta, which you are probably familiar with. They obviously own Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp, which not many people know, but you need to get the API keys and the client ID keys from the Meta business suite. Now, this is a tiny bit confusing. All you're going to do is go onto Facebook. You can see I'm on Facebook right now. This is my Facebook profile and you just need to make sure you have a Facebook business page. Now, assuming you have a Facebook business page, you are just going to click on your profile. So I'm going to click on my profile. Uh, this is my Facebook profile. Follow me if you want, but you can basically see the, you get these different options here and we're just going to click on Meta Business Suite. And when you click on Meta Business Suite, it's going to take you to this page right here. Now, all you need to do is when you're on this page, is you basically need to go on to settings. You can see it's at the bottom of the left. So once you click on settings, it's going to take you to this. And once again, try and do this as I'm doing it, just because there's only a few more things you have to do. But once you click on settings, you're going to click on apps and you're essentially going to create 
an app by clicking on this plus button at the top right. You can see that I've already got an app created because I've been testing this and making sure the replies from the WhatsApp are actually solid like I showed you um, and stuff like that. But in, in this case, I wanted to do this as you're doing it. So I'm just going to build an app real quick. You're going to click on the plus button. You're going to click on create a new app um, ID. And once you click on that, it's going to load and you can just uh, click off that. But you're going to call it whatever you want. So let's just call it like um, an A10 example. You have the app contact email right here. So just put whatever you want there. Click next. And you are essentially going to click on others and then other right here. So once you do that, so others and then other, just to make sure you've got it, click on next. And you're basically almost done. Like this will give you, assuming you click on business, which is what you should do. Obviously click on business. Once you click on business and click next, uh, I believe, yeah, we are done. So just click create app. And it's really that simple. And it would have created an app, which will give you uh, right here. This is going to give you your client ID and your client secret key which it will show you in a second once this has loaded. Um, so boom, now you have successfully created like an app essentially. Um, all you need to do is go to app settings, go to basic, and you should be able to see your client ID and your secret one. So let's give it a second to load. Perfect. You can see we have the app ID. So all you need to do is for example, you're starting from scratch, so you would copy this in. Boom, the client secret key, you would get that as well uh, from here. Okay, so then click save, and you can see that it's going to go green, and it would have said connection tested successfully. It took me a good like 30 minutes to 60 minutes to figure that out, obviously, um, because when I first did this, I wasn't too familiar with like the meta business app side of it. Um, and yeah, hopefully that makes sense. You may have to go back and just follow as I do it, but Hopefully that is um, easy enough to understand. And that's what you, you have to do. There's no other way around it. Once you've done this, you have successfully done the hardest part by far. This is the fun part from now on. Um, all you really need to do is go to your um, Facebook, which is where we left off. And what you want to do is click on WhatsApp right here and click set up. Now, what you're going to have to do is once we click this, and all you're going to do is actually go down to where it says WhatsApp right here. And you're going to click on API setup. Now, once you click on API setup and give it a few seconds to load, you're going to see, hopefully, um, what I see. And what you're going to do is, first of all, you're going to actually get a test number. Now, this allows us to actually, yeah, send messages from a, uh, a number and stuff like that. So what you're going to do is, yeah, just get a test number. It should give you an option to do that. Um, and once you have done that, it should be pretty easy. It will just show right here and you don't even need to add two because we're going to be sending it to the test number because that is, um, our like AI agent essentially. So the test number, by the way, is the AI agent and that's kind of how it works. And yeah, then you're going to click on, I mean, yeah, generate access token, click continue and you're going to, yeah, click on continue again you're going to um, actually select this one. So opt in to all current and future WhatsApp accounts, click continue, click save. And this is amazing because you are finally done with like this whole Facebook nonsense and click got it. So yeah, you have an API key, you have a test number um, and yeah, this is amazing because what we're going to do now is actually execute. So what you're going to do is actually send a message to the test number that you have right here. So you're going to add this number in WhatsApp and you're going to send a message just saying, hey, and then what would happen is it would basically go green and stuff like that. So for example, if I send a message being like, hey, it should give it a second, go green. So you would have done that and it would go green. Hopefully that makes sense. All you're doing literally is going onto WhatsApp and adding your test number and just sending it a test. That is literally all you have to do. Um, and just make sure you click execute workflow before you send the message. Um, but now what this allows us to do is finish this 
workflow very quickly because we're going to click on the plus button. We're going to click on AI agent. So click on AI agent and you're going to click on define below. So what you need to change is actually by putting the body right here. So put the body right here and then you just want to put the actual ID. So it has the individual ID and that's what we changed for the AI agent. Um, and now what you're going to do is click on require specific output format and you're going to click on add option and you're going to click on system message. Now you are literally almost done. And what I've done for you guys is put a completely free system prompt for your AI agent. So you don't even need to create a prompt yourself. I've given you this for free. I haven't even asked for your email. It's in the description. If you want to pay back, uh, you know, the favor, just subscribe, just drop a comment. I think that would help me a ton. And, you know, I'm all about giving value. So you can essentially just copy this and paste it in to your system prompt. So paste that in right here. And you can see this is just a very good prompt saying you are a friendly sales assistant for our massage center. So obviously replace that for your business name or your, you know, business you're helping. And you just want to change the rules if you want to. Um, but this should give you a good enough starting point um, and everything like that. So then you can go back to Canvas. And all we really need to do is just add a chat model. So for example, if we do like OpenAI, I think that's probably the easiest one. And you just need to add your OpenAI credentials. Some people get confused on where to find your OpenAI API key. Just go onto Google and search for OpenAI API key. And it's the top link. And once you click on that, you can basically create a new secret key. So you would click on that and you'd basically just name it and then get a secret key. And then you would be able to paste that into here, which is your API key. And that's all you need to do. Um, and just choose the model you want. So it's really that simple. And then the only other thing we're going to do is actually add a simple memory. So it's going to remember, yeah, the conversation and everything like that. So we're going to click on define below and we're going to change this to 10 and we're going to put the key as I believe it is um, ID or messages, but let's just double check with our one. So go here and it's going to be the messages. So very simple. You would just click on this mapping. I believe um, it is this one. So JSON messages zero paste that in. Yeah. So I believe it's that one. Boom. This is amazing because you've got a trigger message. So whenever someone messages um, the number on WhatsApp, which is this one, it is going to successfully go to our AI agent. It's got the prompt on what to do. It's got the memory. And then all we really need to do next is add a send message back. So we're going to search for WhatsApp once again, and it's going to be business cloud and it's going to be send message. So in this case, all you need to do is put in your access token, which is your API key. And that is what we have right here. And that's why I got you to do it earlier on. But if you haven't done this, just click on generate access token, super simple, just paste it in. That's all you have to do. And you have the business account ID right here. So if we just do this live, boom, and then the account ID you can find very easily right here. So click on that, paste it in right here, boom, click on save and connection has been successfully tested. So now send a phone number. You can see we have it as a test number because it's just linked automatically. What we're going to do now is because we don't have these options, we need to execute the previous node so we can get the information and then map it in here with the successful fields. So let's do that right now. Let's click on execute workflow and hopefully there's an error because yeah, I actually want to, um, yeah, so it's asking for this, um, recipients number. I'm just going to put my number for the meantime. Let me just do this. Okay. So let's send a message to our agent saying hi. And once it's done that, it's going to give us an error because we obviously haven't, okay. It hasn't, but, um, you can see that what it's done is respond 
with the text body, which is response, but we don't want that, obviously. What we want is the response from the AI agent because that's what we've prompted it to do. So we're going to delete that and we are going to put in output. So one thing you are going to do is actually swap this and you're going to replace it from. So what this means is, you know, unique numbers that find a business online, whether it's yours or, you know, the person you're helping with this solution, whenever a unique person calls up or finds their number, it's going to obviously be individualistic, which is what we want. If you click save and you actually refresh this and you can even make it active. So we've made it active. So got it. And what I'm going to do is share my screen once again. So after a bit of time, I have yeah managed to figure it out I in a second, but let's just say, hi to our AI agent, it will respond back within yeah a second. Um, so let's say we want to book a sports massage. Let's do like Monday 2 p.m. Let's do 60 minutes. And then email. So it needs to an email. And then yeah, it has successfully done it. The reason why it's got some JSON right there is because we added it, but obviously changed for JSON just by going in here and making sure it doesn't say it in the actual output. Um, and yeah, hopefully you found this video valuable. If you did, just drop a like, subscribe, drop any comments in the questions. And if you want this workflow, just build for you. So you can just, you know, import it with one click. Feel free to hop in our community and we also provide more support in there. But I'm also going to make a more advanced AI WhatsApp agent tutorial in the next probably, I want to say a few days. Maybe I'll do it in like a week. Um, and that will be like a full, um, Google Calendar integration where it's going to search a calendar to make sure there are times available. It's going to add an event to the calendar. The reason I didn't do it in this video is because it would take way too long. It would be, you know, a full like probably 45 minutes to an hour video. It's more advanced. Whereas this is just great for setting up your very first AI WhatsApp agent where you can have a customer support agent. You can, yeah, obviously add tools and do more stuff with it, but this is a great starting point. So hopefully you enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next video.